Hello, hello. Who's ready for some math today? I am excited to do another math lesson with you today. And I hope you've been um, having some fun at home, practicing counting out these coins and maybe buying some different things or maybe selling some different things to your family members. Um, I just hope that it's been a fun um, time of learning for you, even after our video stop. Um, <clears throat> I want to start by reviewing the coins that we've talked about the last two days, and then we're going to talk about a new coin today. So <clears throat> let's look at, first of all, these two coins that we have talked about the last two days. Okay, I'm holding up my big ones just to make it easier for you to see, okay? Remember, this is the easiest one to recognize because it's a different color. What's this one called? Penny. And how much is it worth? One cent. Good job. And yesterday we talked about this coin, one of our first silver colored coins. What's the name of this one? Nickel. Yes. And how much is it worth? Five cents. Good job. And remember yesterday we were able to practice more with our counting by fives as we were counting out each of our nickels. But every time we count a new nickel, we're counting by fives, aren't we? Good. So I want us to think about um, what we were doing when we were using those coins. And just to review a teeny bit, I have two items and I want you to see if you have the coins you would need to buy what I have for sale today, okay? This is reviewing yesterday. So I've got my dry eraser, dry board eraser, and how much does it say it's worth? Five cents, good. Now with what we learned yesterday with our nickels, I want you to hold up and show me what you would need to buy this eraser. Good, just one nickel, right? Five cents, so if you have five cents, you could buy my eraser. Good job. Now, if you're really thinking there's another way you could buy this eraser, what could you use? Five pennies, good. That would be another way that you could buy this eraser. Great job. Okay, let's look at something else. <clears throat> How about my writing board, how much is it? It's 10 cents, good. So if you were going to buy my little writing board, show me with your nickels, what would you need to buy this um, writing board? <clears throat> Hold it up and show me. Good job, and now tell me how much, um, how much money that is again. 10 cents, good. You need two nickels, don't you? Five, ten. Good. Five cents, ten cents. Good job. So two nickels would make ten cents. And again, if you're thinking there's another way to do it, ten pennies. That's right. Ten pennies would also buy this writing board for ten cents. Good. Now I have one more thing for sale today, and this would be such a good deal if you could buy this. Look what I have, Mr. Bear. And look what he's priced at, 20 cents. That's right. So I want you to think, do you have enough nickels that you could buy Mr. Bear? Think how many you would need to count out 20 cents. Hold it up if you can do it. Or if you don't have that many nickels, then tell me how many nickels you would need. Four nickels, right? Good, so if we're counting by fives, we're going to remember that we would need four nickels, and we'd count by fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. And if you had 20 cents, you could buy Mr. Bear for just 20 cents. That would be a good deal, wouldn't it? I don't know if I wanna sell Mr. Bear for 20 cents or not though. Great job. Okay, so that was good to review our nickels. Now, of course, you're thinking, I know another way that I could buy him. With how many pennies? 
20 pennies. That's right. So if you had 20 pennies, you could also buy something that costs 20 cents, couldn't you? Good. Well, we're going to talk about another coin today that is going to give us even another option for being able to buy some of these things that I just showed you. So we've talked about a penny. We've talked about a nickel. What do you think we're going to talk about today? A dime. That's exactly right. So let me show you my big dime. Let's hold this up. Remember that what we learned in class is the way I tried to get you to remember this coin and this name is that the smallest coin has the smallest name. So it's a little dime and it has a little name, dime. So if I am looking at the coins that I have sorted and you can do the same thing, your dime is the teeny tiniest one. It's smaller than the rest of the coins, isn't it? But it's actually worth more than the penny and the nickel. A dime is worth 10 cents. Okay, so everyone say dime, 10 cents. Dime, 10 cents. Very good. Let me just tell you a little bit about our dime. We've talked about this before, but I want to remind you this is another president. His name was Franklin Roosevelt. He was our 32nd president. And his picture is on the front of our dime. There are also the important words in God We Trust. What a wonderful reminder to have on all of our coins that we can be reminded of that, that we can always trust in God. And it also has the date where the coin was made. Um, there's that word liberty again. Now what's different about a dime as to the other coins we looked at is this one doesn't have um, a building on it. It actually has some different symbols. So on the back of this dime, so if you look in the middle, there's a torch and then there are two branches. So one is an olive branch and one is an oak tree branch. And those are all a symbol for something. So we have, oopsie, I even wrote this down so I wouldn't forget as I was telling you because I had to be reminded of this. So an olive branch is a symbol for peace. The torch is a symbol for liberty, like that word on the front. And the oak tree branch is a symbol for strength. And that is what you would see on the back of your dime. Now what's interesting under this picture, remember how the other two coins on a penny, it said one cent and on a nickel, it said five cents. Well, I think it's kind of funny on a dime, it says one dime. So it doesn't give you a hint as to what a dime is worth. You have to remember that a dime is worth 10 cents. It doesn't give you that clue, okay? So again, I'm holding this one up just so you can see it clearly, but this is what your little dime is going to look like. Do you notice that the edges aren't smooth? It's actually bumpy all the way around. It has little grooves all the way around. That's another difference in a dime. Now a dime is made out of the same uh, metals that a nickel is made out of. It's made out of nickel, and it does have some copper in it, but it does still have that silver color. But it's made out of the same materials that a nickel is, but it has the name dime. So remember, little coin, little name, dime, little bitty, okay? So I want you to look at your dimes that you have sorted. Now, if we know that each dime is worth 10 cents, we know that Every time we're counting out a dime, we're going to be counting by what? We're going to be counting by tens. That's right. That's why we learned how to count by tens, or one of the reasons why we learned how to count by tens. So let me show you my little tray again. So here are my pennies that we talked about a couple days ago. Here are my nickels. So I'm going to move these to the side, and now I'm going to move my dimes into the middle because that's what we're going to talk about today. 
So I want you to separate your dimes. And right now I want you to count to see how many dimes you have. Okay, do that for me. And I'm gonna count mine too. You counted them. How many did you have? Good. Okay, I have 10 dimes. 10 dimes. So if I want to know how much money I have or what is the value of my dimes, then I will be counting by tens to make sure that I know how um, I can count the value of what I have, okay? So I'm, I'm trying to get these in my hand so you can see them. Okay, so here are my dimes. Now I'm going to count mine by tens. I want you to count with me. And then I'm going to let you count by tens. And if you have more than 10, you may get to a pretty big number, okay? So we're counting by tens to find out the value of my dimes, okay? And remember, we're counting by cents. So this, and I'm just gonna say the number though, okay? So we'll do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, <clears throat> 60, 70, 80, 90, <clears throat> 100, 100 cents. Now, we usually don't say 100 cents though. <clears throat> Does anyone remember what is another way to say 100 cents? One dollar, that's right. 100 cents is equal to one dollar. So if I have 10 dimes, I have one dollar. That's a lot of money, isn't it? So notice what I did again, I counted by tens. So I want you to count your dimes and to find out how much money you have with your dimes. And remember, this is finding the value of your dimes, okay? So while you're doing that, I'm going to write something on the board, okay? So count your dimes, find out what you have. <clears throat> then we're gonna talk about it together. I'm gonna wrap this up here really quickly. Okay, tell me how much money you had with your dimes. Okay, good. So some of us had the same amount and then several of us had different amounts. Good. So that's how you can find the value of your dimes is by counting by tens, okay? Counting by tens. Good job. So I want you to look at what I wrote quickly up here on my little whiteboard. If I have one dime, I have 10 cents, right? One dime, 10 cents. Now I'm gonna show you these other ways to also make 10 cents. Remember what we said a nickel was worth yesterday? Five cents, good. And what did we learn? Five plus five is 10, good. So if I have two nickels, I also have 10 cents. Now these are supposed to be dimes over here that I wrote rather quickly. So I'm just going to put a one on each of these to show that these are each worth one cent. So if these are each worth one cent, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So how much money do I have? Ten cents. Good. So this is showing three different ways that you could come up with 10 cents. So maybe you had a lot of pennies that you could count out 10 pennies, or maybe you just had one dime. It's worth the same amount that you could spend different coins to um, buy something that has a value of 10 cents. Okay, good job. Now, I realize that a lot of what we're talking about now, this is more than we did in class, because in class, we really just looked at the coin 
um, we talked about what the value was, but I think that knowing what you know with our counting, you are able to actually count out these coins to find the value of them. So I'm challenging you in that way to be able to do that. So today, what we talked about again was a dime or a dime, remember, is worth 10 cents. Remember, it's the smallest of the coins, but it's actually worth just a little bit more. So I want everyone, I'm making sure he's not upside down. Everyone say dime, 10 cents. Very good. Now I'm going to pull out a couple of objects that I showed you at the beginning of the video that we were buying with nickels. And I want you to tell me now if you could buy this with a dime instead. Could you buy my writing tablet? It costs 10 cents. So hold up what you would need to buy this with your dimes. How many dimes would you need? Only one dime, right? One dime because it's worth 10 cents. So you could buy this with one dime. Now you could also buy this in two different ways. But right now I'm wanting us to think about dimes, okay? What else was I selling earlier? Remember that little cutie pie I was selling earlier? Let me pull him out again. Remember what he was worth? Oh, he just knocked off his price tag. How much are you? Remember, Mr. Big was 20 cents. So if you have enough money in dimes to buy Mr. Bear, I want you to hold up your coins and show it to me. Good, I want you to count that for me. How would you count my tens to buy Mr. Bear? Excellent job, good. Let me get two of mine. I'm gonna do 10, 20, 10, 20. And that would be enough to buy Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear, by the way, wants to give you an air hug because it's been such a long time since he has seen you in person and he misses you really badly. Just like Mrs. Troutman is missing you too, but I feel like I'm at least getting a chance to um, visit with you in our Zoom meeting and, um, and even talking like this in our videos. I feel like we're still getting to spend some good time together. So thank you so much for participating in our math lesson. And I bet you know what my challenge is going to be for you. I want you to um, write some different ways that you can um, find a value of your dime. So count some dimes out, um, write the value. Maybe count out four dimes, write that value. Count out six dimes if you have six dimes, write that value. Then I want you to price some things around the house, okay? and do that this time with numbers that you can use your dimes with. So today is dime day. I want you to shop with dimes, okay? So something that will be of value with 10, 20, 30, 40, something like that that you can use your dimes to buy, okay? I hope you have fun doing that. Have a good rest of the day, and I will plan on seeing you again tomorrow, okay? I love you, bye-bye.